Hey, how's it going, guys? And Nerdsy here, back with another part of the BT8 um, new Awakening set review that we've been doing for the past several days. Um, in the last part, we we went over all of the green cards. Um, I was learning pretty much what the new green cards would do, and thought of some of the different things that we can use for um, for the new uh, Shivamon. Um, I'm really excited to see what we what that that can do, but before we get into all that, I want to let you guys know I do appreciate all of the support that you guys have been given to this whole series. Um, and I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. If you guys are new, make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoy the content that we have been putting out. As well as leave a subscription if you guys really do want to keep on watching all the videos that we've been doing. Um, I want to be able to finish this project so that we can start into something new. Um hopefully by the time that bta comes out we will be able to have a mindset of what we actually want to play i already have an idea so um i'm just really excited to go over this set um i will be doing a a box opening once that set does come out it did get delayed till the end of may so uh we probably won't be able to do that till for like another month but I'm really excited for BT8. We are still in the BT7 uh, format. I will be doing a couple of the deck profiles as well. Um, I still need to ask a, a um, like a buddy of mine for their uh, deck profile for um, the core TCG. Um, I believe he, he got 25th place. I still have to talk to him. That's, that is that is uh, neither here nor there. But we're going to continue with the BT8 um, card list. And we're going to start off with one of the most exciting to me one of the most coolest and exciting um like Digimon that we have gotten for the for the black cards and it is Agumon. Agumon is a three drop rookie on play. You reveal the top four cards of your deck. You can add one Greymon in his name or one card. You can add one card with Greymon in his name or one card with Dragon Kin in his trait to the hand and then you place the rest in the bottom. This is your searcher for Pretty much your Greymon tribal deck that's going to happen in this format. Um, which is going to be the Black War Greymon deck. Um, plus this also searches your red and black cards. And this goes on top of your black um, babies or your red babies. Or the uh, or the uh, Digitamas is what they're called. In this game we became more and more searchers. Since in the, in this game we, we do not search as much. We... We don't have an actual tutor or a reinforcement of of the army. We have we look at the top four, top five cards, top seven cards, top six cards, and we grab what we can, and then we put everything in the bottom. So there's gonna be a lot of filtering in this deck, a lot of the filtering in a lot of decks going forward, and uh, and this Agumon is just gonna be added to the list. Plus, it's it's a regular Agumon, so it can be. Uh, brought out by Nokia, which is what's making um, like Nokia really stand out right now because we do get um, a Greymon deck that's gonna be very uh, competitive in the next set. Next, we have Kokuomon, which um, is a three drop rookie, it goes on top of your black, um, um, like the Yutamas or your black eggs. And during all turns, players can't ignore the evolution requirements. I don't can ignore the evolution requirements meaning I don't know exactly what that means um I don't know which cards say ignore the the evolution requirement to digivolve um I believe I believe certain ones do i just don't know which ones i have to look at what we get to be able to exactly know what this means because um because there are some that don't require a color i guess i don't know i don't know i have to look more into this um this is my not knowing a lot of the newer cards that are coming out or not thinking of me not knowing off the top of my head what it's like this would mean so this is technically a floodgate, I guess. Um, next, we have 
Ryu Damon, this is where we start getting the X antibody. Um, in BT seven, we did get, we did start getting X antibody, the arch type, and now we are getting um BT eight is pretty much giving us the rest of what we needed. Um, I believe BT nine gives us pretty much an X antibody meta. So this um like this is just the start of the X antibody meta. Um. This is your searcher, uh, as, as well as the uh, Duraladon, do Dorugon, the Dorugon, I believe, from BT7. I don't, I don't know exactly. Um, you play this for three, or you can put it on top of your eggs for for zero. On play, you reveal the top three cards, and you add a, a card with X antibody in its trait and a Juji Musia among among them to your hand. Place. So this is. So this pretty much is your Strabimon. It gets you an a um a Digimon and a specific tamer. Only looking at the top three, so you have um a big time whiffing with this, but at least you can get at least one of the cards that you want. As in Herable, all turns while this card has has um um like X antibody in its trait, it does gain decoy black. So whenever this will be deleted by your opponent's effect by an opponent's effect, you may delete this Digimon instead of the other one. So decoy coming in handy and next we have the old art looking beautiful, looking powerful as ever. Um plus I mean I believe Duradodon do Duradodon in the back. I don't know exactly the name of the mega for this. Um next we have Thundermon which is going to be a champion for drop two to go on top of, of a rookie and the name of this card and Digimon is also treated as Mamemon. Unfortunately this only counts if it's on the battle area, not in the racing. So or or in your hand. Um the name of this card slash the Digimon is also treated. I believe this only counts as is as it it's only counts as in um in the battlefield. In the battle area, um, unless this is meant to be like it also counts in your hand, don't know. Um, but Thundermon counts as a mommy mon, I guess. Cool. Um, Skull Nightmon Cavalier mode. We got more support for the Skull Nightmon archetype. Um, this, the name of this card slash Digimon is also treated as Skull Nightmon and Deadly Axemon. So more support for the Deadly Axemon and the and, and the Skull Nightmon archetype that we just got in BT8. I haven't played with those cards just yet, but it does have um four costs to just play outright. Um you can digivolve on top of a level three for three or on top of a level four for one. Um when digivolving this Digimon gains jamming which is actually really good and weird that it it's in black. Um, like jamming doesn't normally come in black, so it's weird, but we we take those and blocker um, until the end of your opponent's next turn. So you can swing with this, try to unsuspend it, and then you, you still have blocker, which is actually really cool because then you have a blocker, um, which black is known for having blockers either way. Not known for having jammers, but um, this also counts as a Skull Nightmon and a, and a Deadly Axemon, so... Um, I believe you have Skull Nightmon on top of this. You were able to bring it out as a Deadly Axemon. So that's cool. Um, next we have Ginryumon, which is another X Antibody ult, um, the champion that we, we definitely needed for the, like, um, for the, um, um, like X Antibody, um, like Archetype as well as the deck. Um, it on it's a vanilla until you get to the Inheritable. It does only cost five to play. To, to go on top of your level 3's and as in Herbal, during your opponent's turn while this card has X antibody in the straight it gains blocker so now your X antibodies now have blocker which is extremely good especially it being in black um, black is known for their blockers and having being able to use your level 6 as a blocker is gonna be so good when I think the only way to get it was um, when you digivolve onto your level five, it gains blocker when you put something underneath him, and then you will have to, then you will have to evolve into your level six to have it still have blocker for that turn. But at least um, having 
uh, getting Ryumon, um, in the scene, we're able to have Blocker as just a like inheritable, which is really cool. Um, now we have now we're talking about the Dragon Kin, not Dragon Kin, but the Greymon, um, um, like archetype, which um, this is the new Greymon that we just got from BT8. Um, it can do both on top of uh, black or a red level three, so, and 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 the Gagamon is mostly in red and bl black and red, not green. I don't know why I said green. Can you do both on top of your level threes, either black or red, and Agumon is in black and red now. And as in Herable, while you have a red Digimon in in play, this Digimon gains Blocker, giving um um your big guys Blocker is always gonna be good. Catch Mamemon. Um, a level five. We're already hopping on to. We don't get a, a, a lot of level fours, but we're just gonna hop right into fives. Catch mommy, catch mommy man. Um, uh, um, it's, uh, it is six to play three to uh, did you on top of a level four, which I believe the mommy man is a level four. Um, regularly, I believe I don't recall when did you You may return up to four Digimon with mommy man in his name from your hand or trash to the top of your deck in any order. If you return three or more cards with this effect, the Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon. So when you Digivolve, you can recycle your Mamemons, which I'm guessing because the other ones are gonna be counted, I'm guessing anywhere, since it doesn't say during your turn. Um, I'm guessing everywhere it's just gonna count as a um, as a Mamemon, even in racing, in the graveyard, or on the field. That's what I'm picking up from what they're saying. Um, since its name will be treated as it, so that's that's actually pretty cool. The the Digivolve one is gonna be decent, especially with Armor Rush gonna be running around. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work with uh, DNA uh, uh, Digivolution. It might it it'll be interesting to see. Um, now we have the level five X Anti Body. Now we have two level fives. Um, one came in BD seven, and the second one is this one. Eight to play normally, three to go on top of your level fours, eight KDP. Um, during your turn, when one of your effects places a Digimon card under this, um, like Digimon, which you do often in this deck because that's you, you, you literally play a one big stack monster. You may Digivolve this Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand with X antibody in its trait by paying its Digivolution cost when this. Digimon would would digivolve with a with with this effect reduces uh, reduce is the digivolution cost by one so pretty much making um everything costs one less to go into your mega if you put something underneath this that's actually really good that's actually really cool because you can you can go into your into your mega for only five costs if you if you um like digivolve this and then go into your level six. Or if you digivolve this, that's three. Put something on, uh, underneath it, then you can go into your big guy for two, for 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 one last. That's actually really cool. Um, it is a cost reduction. Um, the floodgates are still gonna be um like running around, so that's gonna be interesting on how they're gonna do that. Um, inherent effect is during your opponent's turn while this Digimon has X antibody in its trade, it gains reboot. So that is going to be a big thing because now we now from the previous one that we showed against blocker and now this one gains reboot, making it pretty much never be able to be attacked over. You can swing, reboot, now you have a blocker on the field. Fantastic. Um like Alphamont can be huge. It's gonna be great. Um the other level five, which is going to be for the other archetype, which is Metal Greymon. We have another one. Um cost four to to Digibuff on top of your level. On top of your on top of your level fours, um, eight costs to just play out right, eight thousand DP, and when you digivolve, D digivolve, one of your opponent's Digimon. Then you delete one of your opponent's Digimon with three thousand or less DP. So you have a bit of both of the colors. This is also a black and a red card. Um, so this is so it's using um. The main strat of both of the colors, um, the 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 digivolving comes a lot from black. Um, being four costs to put this on top of your 
on top of your champion is fine because Nokia will reduce it by one. So it's technically still a three drop on top of your champion. And being able to pop something on the board and also de de digital something on the board as well is actually really good. As an inheritable, what this Digimon has Dragon Kin or Machine in its trait, which I believe for Greymon has Dragon Kin. Um, it can also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. That that right there is huge. You can spot remove everything by just attacking over it. That is really huge, especially in the stack. Um, where you can, where black and red doesn't really do much of that. Um, but the fact that as in Herible, as long as you are a War Greymon or a Machine Dramon, you can legit spot remove something on the board and that, that is fantastic. That is really, really strong. Next, we have going out to the level six. Oh, we have another Bancho in the house. Bancho Mamemon, um, 11 cost to hard play. Three to go on top of your level fives, 11 KDP, a little bit low, but that's actually pretty average. So it's it, it to me it's on the low side, but I'm guessing that's average. When you digivolve, when digivolving, you may reveal the top three cards of your deck. For each of your opponent's Digimon, you may play one Digimon card with Mamemon in his name, and and a memory cost of 10 or less among the among the revealed cards without paying his memory cost trash the rest of the cards so the one that we just saw um the uh what's it called um i believe the it was level five so you can literally during your turn you have your level four mamemon you put this on top of it for three you go to zero put three cards with the mamemon on top of your deck and then you you digivolve into the Bancho Mamemon. You draw a card. You reveal the top three. You know two of the other ones. Because you put three of them there. And you drew the other one. You can play the other two. As long as the memory costs, costs 10 or less. For free. And then you pass over three. But depending on what it happen, what happens. This... you. You still get more Mamemons on the field, which is great. During all turns, while you have another Digimon with Mamemon, which you brought out because of the bunch of Mamemon, this Digimon gains uh, um, a secure attack plus one. So as long as there's another Mamemon on the field, this thing checks two of your securities. That's actually pretty... I like this little archetype. That's kind of cute. I, I like how it's going to work. This is going to be a really fun deck to, to see how they're going to play um, like play it. So I'm 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 really excited. Here's the other boss monster for the X anti body. We keep going um for black in the set. Um, there's three different archetypes that are getting support. We got the mommy mon, we got the um the dragon kin gray mon line, and we have the X anti body. X anti body. Everyone's really hyped about this. Um, so twelve to play. Um, to to, to just play twelve k DP. That's more average. Um, and you can digivolve this for four on top of your level fives. With the with the other one, with the ultimate that we just talked about, this becomes three. So that's even, that's fine. When digivolving, you replace one card with X antibody in its trait from your hand underneath this as the bottom source to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with play cost of seven or less. Pretty much anything that's on average and ultimate and below this thing just gets rid of so pretty much a level five or below this thing just kills by just putting an antibody underneath it and during your turn once returned when when one of your effects places a digivolution card underneath this digimon which when you digivolve you already did this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP, so it becomes a 14,000 and can't be deleted by your opponent's effect until the end of your opponent's next turn. So, the turn this comes out, you're immune to Gaia Force, you're immune to anything that will, as long as it's not a game mechanic, this cannot be, this cannot be deleted by, by your opponent's effect until the end of their turn. As in Herible, which means... 
um, there's something can go on top of this. At at the end of the attack, once the return, if this Digimon has Alphamon in its name, unsuspend this card. So I'm guessing Alphamon can go on top of this, or a type of a type of Alphamon can go on top of this. I don't know. Um, but a level six that has a like inheritable means that there's going to be something good on top of it. And this is this is a really good boss monster, and I'm glad that like X Type Body got a got a better boss monster. Um, and like X Type Body was still doing really good. Um, it was just one of those like high stack decks that you need everything just to really set up and win and, and just swing and win. And this is the old art, which looks fan phenomenal. Oh my goodness, that 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 is a scary looking card, and I kind of want just to collect it because that. That's a pretty dope card. Okay. The golden child of this one sorry, one of the golden childs of this whole set, Black War Greymon. This deck is going to be a lot of people are putting it at like tier two, tier one point five. But depending who's going to pilot this, this can take numbers. This this deck can take games. But it is also a big stack deck, so you need to get your Black War Greymon out fast and make sure it stays on the field as long as it can, because there it, its effect is ridiculous. So for a play cost of twelve, you can play this out. That's fine. Twelve thousand DP, average. Four to Digivolve on top of a Black or a Red, um, level five. With Nokia, it's a three, so that's fine. And yes, I am mentioning um, like Nokia a lot. That is your number one tamer for this deck because you're able to play your like Agumons for free um, whenever you play her, um, as well as you can suspend her to reduce the um, the cost by one. So this becomes a three on top of your ultimates. When you Digivolve, if this Digimon has a red source, choose any number of your Digimon. Of, of your opponent's uh, make Digimon. Let me stop it right there, cause it's it's weird how they're gonna um like how they write it. If this Digimon has a red Digivolution Source card, anything that's a dual color. If you have the Black World Greymon, the sorry, if you have the Metal Greymon underneath this, that's a red source. So choose any number of your opponent's uh make Digimon. Everybody. If this Digimon has a black, um, like Digimon is a source. Metal Greymon, it's also a red source. Choose any number of your opponent's tamers. The chosen cards play cost must add up to six or less. Delete those cards. This thing kills tamers. This thing kills pretty much rookies. The play cost has to add up to six. So you can choose a level three and a and a three cost tamer. That's six. You can delete that. Whenever you digivolve, that is stupid. Also, during all turns, once per turn, when it when an opponent Digimon is deleted, unsuspend this card. Metal Greymon underneath him says when you attack, you can delete a three thousand DP or less. So you can attack, delete something, unsuspend, hit security, swing again. Or you can swing with your Metal Greymon, go on top of the on top of the Metal Greymon with Black War Greymon, kill the Tamer and kill another rookie, unsuspend Black War Greymon. This is ridiculous. This this is going to cost a lot of I I don't know how well this deck is going to be. But I'm really, really excited. It has the potential to do so well. And just the art is gorgeous. The art is amazing. I'm super happy for it. And I and I believe we get an old art. We do. Which is just ridiculously bonkers, dude. Oh, my God. This is this one. I'm gonna, I, I want to try to get two of them. I want to give one to my friend. Because he loves um, um, War Greymon. He loves, the, he loves the line. He loves Black War Greymon. I love Black War Greymon, too. And this art is just bonkers. I'm so happy for it. Um, that is going to be the end of the black cards. Um, in the next video, we're going to go over the um, the purple cards, which has some really good things. Um, and then the last video is going to be going over Tamers and going over the Chimeramon. Um, 
tamers and options, which is going to be a little bit longer. So I'm, I'm going to try to uh, put that all together as one um, and just kind of try to run through it as 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 swiftly as we can. But until next time, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like if you did. And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, it really does help. If you guys want to get notified when we put up a video, hit the little bell. Um, I don't know where it is on on the screen, but you will see the bell. On that, have yourself a fantastic day. I'm loving this set. I'm really excited for this set. This set's gonna be super fun to play in, and it's gonna be pretty fair, ish, ish. The the structure deck are are not gonna be fair, but it's gonna be a fun game. So I will see you guys then, and have yourself a fantastic day. A fantastic day. Bye.